Look what I got. I went and found me a nice stalk of pokeweed. Uh, so, I am going to, and I know this is a little tall, but it's it's not that bad. Um, it's still young enough, and it's not very, it's, it's just pink. It's not very red. And um, I'm going to cook this. So, I'm going to take all the leaves off of this. And then come back and then I'll show you what we do to the to the stem of it. So yeah, um, I'll come back once I got all the leaves Alright folks, that's all my leaves. I got them all taken off. Now, I'm going to cook this stem as well. Now down here, it's kind of woody. Don't want that part. Um, you see how this is real flexible and tender and green? As it goes down, it gets more and more pink. Down here, still kind of tough. So I'm going to cut this in slices. Uh, cut this one. I keep cutting them and they keep flying off. I'm gonna wash this folks. Okay, I want to show y'all something. Now, the real tender part of the stem, you can leave in here. But you see how this on this bigger piece in the middle, it's it's got this white kind of center. But on this other one, it's not like that. It's it's pretty much green. You can see where the white is kind of starting to start, but it hasn't started yet. So this this little green one that was more of the top tender part of the plant. This is more of the hard. See how hard that is, and woody. And when you break that open, you can see. It's got these white little shelf looking things in there. You don't want to use that part in the, the way that I'm about to cook it now. You don't want to use that part. So extract all them parts out of them. I had I picked through this, but I had a I had a few a few pieces of that left. But you just want to use the um see even this you can tell when it's hard because when you squeeze it, it just it's See that now this isn't that this man I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. That's kinda hard to all the little pieces is hard. But like I said, this little stuff like this where it's green, just like almost like asparagus. You can leave those pieces in. Uh, this too. You can leave that in. Because I'm gonna the way I'm gonna prepare this is just like um It's kind of hard. Uh, it's just like uh, greens, pretty much. Uh, now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, people say it's poisonous. It can be. Let me tell you something. This is raw. Do not eat it raw, ever. Um, it can make you real ill, or you know, if you eat too much of it, kill you. But um. If you prepare it the way I'm about to show you, it should be good. Out of all my grandparents, I only have one that's left living. And my granny has been eating poke salad her whole life. And sometimes I wonder, and she's the only grandparent I had that I knew that actually talked about eating poke salad or poke weed. Um, all the rest of them are dead. She's the only one living, and she's actually pretty healthy. So, um, yeah. Just like, oh, I don't want to show you this. This is like the top of the plant. See these real tender? Just leave those little stems in. And I just, I just tore my leaves like that. Now I haven't washed this yet. I always, I tend to tear all the leaves first and then wash them uh, if I see a, this is a small kind of tender leaf. Uh, you can leave the younger stems, but 
Uh, that one was a little tougher, so I took it out. So just, you know, like your greens, pull anything that feels, you know, ridiculously tough. Now, this isn't as um, hardy as like a collard greens or something like that. But um, some of the stems and things can be tough. So, you know, just pull. This is all the stuff that I pulled out. All the rest of it's in there. I got a few, a few little, you know, tender stems here and there. Uh, these are real tender. They break real easy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wash these and then I'm going to come back and show you how I cook them. Okay, YouTube. Now, I got my cleaned poke salad here and I got two pots of water boiling. Now, this is important. The reason why you have two pots of water boiling is because what you want to do is you want to parboil this once. So, parboil it. You're just going to drop that in your boiling water. Drop that in your boiling water. And of course the water, the temp of the water drops down so It's still boiling now. But you're just going to drop that. Drop that in. And what you want to do is you want to let that boil for one minute. Oh, you too. Let me, let me get me a utensil here. I probably should have got some tongs. Anyway, and you want to make sure everything's under the water here. So everything's under the water. You can see the steam. It is still boiling. So, I mean, you just, you don't see the bubbles. I'm going to turn my vent on. My kitchen is a wreck, y'all. I need to wash dishes like it ain't no tomorrow. But anyway. And like I said, you want this water to come back to a rolling ball. It's about to. I don't know if y'all can see where those bubbles are starting to come up at. Like I say, you want to do this for a minute. I'm kind of just watching the clock on my uh, on my phone here. That's the way I'm able to keep track. You see, I got my other pot; it's rolling. So, you know what? While this is coming back up, y'all see that can y'all see them bubbles it is boiling it's just it's, it's nearly about back up to a boil uh, while that's going oh lord i can't even find it oh i got too much too much stuff in there oh i can't wait till i remodel my kitchen all these cabinets, they leave something to be desired. So you see those bubbles, it's bubbling now. And to be honest with you, it's okay if you go over a minute. Um, because you want to make sure that you get it, you know. So if you boil it for two or three minutes, I, I do something. I do usually, honestly. I end up boiling it for more than a minute. Uh, steam fogging up the bins here. So yeah, I do usually end up boiling it for more than a minute. And you can see now it's coming back up. So when this is back rolling, guys, I'm gonna call like YouTube. I threw the top back on there. And it came back up to a ball pretty quick there for me. I'll take you. Which I had to pour ball once. Throw it over in your second batch of water. Y'all keep in mind this cooks like spinach, so it kind of cooks down to nothing. And you just want that little water on there. Some people rinse theirs. I don't bother with rinsing mine. Uh, not that big of a deal to me. 
If you think you want to rinse yours, go right ahead. Uh, just trying to get the last out of here. Now something else I want to try. There's a recipe where you fry the stems. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but that sounds pretty good to me. They say it tastes like fried okra. I don't like fried okra, so. Oh, it's taking me forever to get all this out of here. This is the whole CD, and then that slipped off. Great job. Like I said, drop it. And this here you want to boil. Once you get it over in your second pot, boil it for one minute. It's back up to a rolling boil there. You want to boil it for a minute. And like I said, you can boil it for a little longer than that. I'm not that, I don't watch the clock that close. I just, you know, make sure it's over a minute. That's the way I handle mine. So, we're going to let that boil. When that's done, this is the second part boil. When that's done boiling, for a minute, I'm going to come back and finish up and show you how I finish right, it. I got a little olive oil in my pan. Pretty and green it still is. That's why I like this method over. Uh, some methods that tell you to cook it for, you know, four days. It don't require all that people. When you get them young, the plant doesn't have many toxins in it anyway. It doesn't have time to pull the toxins from the roots. Because the root is really the most toxic part. And that won't come off, will it? it? Ain't coming off the other. And uh, you can cook this a number of ways. You can cook it like spinach or greens or however you want. I'm gonna put some eggs in mine today. I'm in the mood for eggs, so uh, and I got plenty of them. I got a friend that's got chickens. And I can get eggs from her real cheap, so uh, I'll get my eggs from her. That's that. That water over there, pull that out. Uh, let me turn that heat up a little. Uh, Yeah, pretty, pretty eggs. Well, got blue and green and brown. All them pretty colors in there. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, and you know what? I got some smoked sausage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that up in there. I'm gonna cut that up in there. So once I got this cut up, okay, I got the smoked sausage cut up. It's in there with the pork salad. Now, uh, I need to scramble my eggs. So I'll be All back. Right. I'm scramble my eggs beat up. They got a little fresh cracked black cup in there. Pull that in there. I don't know I want to get all that out of there, don't you? Then I got a little homegrown garlic here. Put that in. Then I 
this is from the garlic that I showed in a uh, previous video that I had pulled up. I got a little of that. Alright. So, so for this we're going to kind of make it like like scrambled eggs. But, let me turn this down so I ain't got enough eggs. Let me put some more eggs in here. Oh. Alrighty then. We're back. I put three more eggs in there. So, that's eight eggs total. I'm not going to eat all this. Um, I'll have help, I'm sure. Okay, so let's just stir this up some. Hey, I'm still ain't really liking that ratio. Let's go three more eggs, folks. We okay, we're back. I think I got it now, YouTube. Let's break this, this lump of this up. Okay, now. Nah. So that we get some of the poke salad out of the way through. I'm going to turn this, turn that fire up just a little bit. Like I said, you don't have to fix it. Like you don't have to put eggs in it. You can cook it as if you was uh, cooking spinach or beet tops. That is, of course, after you parboil it twice. And then um, a lot of times people say after that, you know, cook it for 15 more minutes, however you see fit. Uh, and when you cook it for that 15 minutes after that, you can go ahead and serve it. Uh, This has been over the heat in here with the sausage and everything cooking for about 15 minutes. But uh, as I said, I've done this before, so um, I'm confident in it. If you're not confident in it, just you know follow directions. Parboil it once for one minute, parboil it again for one minute, and then cook it for 15 more minutes and serve it however you want to serve it. When you cook it for that 15 minutes, you don't have to uh, boil off. The water you can see the color of my uh that was the second one that i did uh a lot of times people don't even parboil it twice uh my granny for instance just par parboils it once and then cooks it for uh, like 30 minutes uh, i've read a lot of people do it that way too um i kind of like cheesy eggs so my eggs get close they're almost done i don't like them running Sorry for those that do. I don't like over, I don't like uh, sunny side up, over easy, any of that crap. I need for that egg to be done. I need my eggs like my meat done. Uh, so I throw in some cheese, turn the heat off, and uh, just kind of let that cheese melt in there and this is done folks so this is like uh, this is going to be my breakfast but this is uh like i said you don't have to cook it as a breakfast item you can just cook it as a, a dinner item or something like that so yeah this is a poke salad with uh Smoked sausage and eggs. Well, scrambled eggs with poke, poke salad and sausage. Uh, you could just as easily do this with bacon. I've done it with bacon. It's fabulous. You can also saute that poke salad with a little olive oil, some garlic, throw the bacon on top. It's great. Um, I've done it like that too. So, yeah. There you go, folks. It's done. So I'll come back when I have it plated up and I taste it. Okay, y'all, that is plated up. Uh, I put a little hot sauce on there. There it is plated up, everybody. I put a little bit of hot sauce on there, not much. Uh, just for a little, little taste. Okay, so ooh, let's see how it tastes here. Now, if you're scared to eat this, give it to your dog or, or your cat and wait, you know, a little while. 
and see if they how they react. <laughs> don't don't do that. That's terrible. Iris, you want some? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Hmm. It's really good. To be honest, y'all, it tastes just like spinach. Really, why don't you cook it? Or you know any leafy green that you cook, it's really tender. But you know when you add eggs and now the stems, they're not tough, but they're really tender and they taste great. So yeah, poke salad. Give it a try, folks. It's good. It won't kill you. Just be careful. I don't believe what the haters say. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna finish eating this. I'm gonna have to get back in the garden and um plant some tomatoes. So I'll see y'all in the next video.